Hi everyone, out to Marco here, and this is going to be your Monday video report. Let's talk about Sunday for a second. Let's talk about the good things that happened on Sunday. Nothing I can think of. I mean, Sunday absolutely sucked. 15 dime play in the NBA, matching my biggest play of the past two seasons. Yeah, that was a great call on the Chicago Bulls. Came nowhere close to covering the six. Uh, yesterday at Orlando, despite the fact that the Magic were playing without that guy. Oh, what's that guy's name? Dwight Howard? Yeah. Still couldn't cover the number against them. Uh, horrible game. I mean, yeah. And, you know, if I look at the big picture, I'm still 13-5 and five with those 15 dime releases in the NBA the past two years combined, including 8-3 and three this season after having cash with the Bulls over Boston on Thursday night. Obviously, I rode Chicago one time too many. Uh, also, uh, got a little greedy on Sunday, took a 10-dime play on the Minnesota Twins at minus $1.30 and watched them go down in flames, 5-3 loss to the Oakland A's as their hitting woes continued. So, um, I'm sorry, something just blew off my desk over there, so I was looking back there and said, what the hell was that? Uh, anyway, let's get to uh, the good news of the day. Did you see Snooki and JWoww are going to get a spin-off show from Jersey Shore? I mean, that is something to look forward to because they are by far the two most interesting characters on the show. And Pauly D. Pauly D, of all the guys, Pauly D seems like the guy that you want to hang with. Um, of course, he's, you know, getting his DJ career going full swing here in Vegas. Um, he's getting a spinoff as well. The rest of the crew coming to the contract negotiations to get ready for the next season, which is going to be filmed in Italy. Um, I thought it was good news. All this was really good news because, you know, as long as Ronnie and Sammy don't get a show of their own, I mean, if they gave them a show, I think you'd have to have, like, Dr. Phil be there every single week. I mean, think of the drama. I mean, you think Jerry Springer has a lot of drama? Just imagine you, Dr. Phil, mediating between Ronnie and Sammy. I mean, maybe we're on to something here, guys. Maybe we should write MTV and demand that these guys should have a show with a referee in the middle like Dr. Phil. I think it would be big... Big, a big, big ratings boost for MTV. Just a thought. Anyway, uh, if you didn't get the uh, free discount money-saving coupon yesterday, you can still use it today. It's You Save 20. You Save 20. That will save you $20 off any single purchase you make today. Uh, it's a one-time usage coupon. If you didn't use it yesterday, feel free to use it today. Once again, it is You Save 20. Uh, my free picks have been great over the last 21 weeks, um, but they sucked on Sunday, too. That was really some good advice I gave you about the Boston Celtics yesterday, huh? I mean, really good advice. Looked good for about a quarter and a half, and then Miami woke up. Looking at that game and how the Heat absolutely dominated on the boards against Boston, that really has me worried about how long the Celtics are going to be able to last in the postseason. I know I told you yesterday they struggled down the stretch of last year and then turned the corner and turned it on when the postseason arrived. But this is a team that, again, you know, if they're going to insist on playing Jermaine O'Neal, who was washed up two years ago, but nobody noticed, I think, in the center position with Shaq out, and even if Shaq comes back, I mean, he's a hamstring pull away again from being on the injured list. Uh, they just have too much of a donut in the middle. I mean, they would have been better served just playing Glenn Big Baby Davis up there the whole time there, even though he would have been, you know, at a, a disadvantage in terms of side. At least he goes to the rack and wants to kill his mother for a rebound. But to get out-rebounded the way they did by the Heat yesterday, that was an embarrassing and a pathetic performance by Boston. Now, in the NBA tonight, your free pick is going to be uh, Golden State and Denver. It's going to be Denver minus the 12 at home against Golden State. One of the reasons it has me uh, on the Nuggets here tonight, of course, they need just one win to clinch the fifth seed in the Western Conference playoffs. Um, this is their home finale tonight. They play at Utah on Wednesday night, so they might as well win this game. They've been idle since blowing out Minnesota by a couple hundred points on Saturday behind a big game from Ty Lawson. Meanwhile, Golden State coming off a uh, loss yesterday. Uh, at home, where they were a five and a half or six point chalk against uh, Sacramento, they lost that game outright, 104-103, uh, snapping their three game winning streak. And worse yet, uh, Monta Ellis, their uh, leading scorer, averaging a little over 24 points a game, suffered a uh, concussion, I think it was, in the game. So he is going to miss the final couple games of the regular season. So he is out tonight, and this team is playing in Denver, where the Nuggets have won 12 of the last 13 games straight up at home in the series, averaging, and I've got this written down here because it's really something, averaging 105.6 points in that stretch. You know how many times I've ridden the Nuggets here since they made the big trade, sending Carmelo over to the Knicks along with Chauncey Billups, and why not? I mean, uh, the uh, the Nuggets are 18-6 straight up, 19-4-1 against the spread. 
uh, since uh, moving Mellow, and uh, they've also won 11 of their last 12 at home, going 8-2-1 and one against the spread in that stretch. I think the only loss uh, straight up was against Oklahoma City last Tuesday. Uh, this Golden State team has uh, dropped 16 of its last 25 games straight up, just covering 10 of those 25 games. Uh, they have dropped uh, 12 of their last 15 on the road, and they haven't done much better against the spread. And without Ellis in the lineup tonight, I just don't see how they're competing. Now, it's true, the Nuggets have some injury concerns, certainly to be worried about. But they do not want to find themselves in the position of having to go to Salt Lake City on Wednesday to clinch that fifth seed. And I'm sure that's all George Carl is talking about today. Because, listen, you clinch that fifth seed tonight, you can then rest some of your regulars here for the final regular season game and prepare for the playoffs, and I'm sure that's what their intention is, so why not go ahead and lay the 12 to 12 and a half points in this one with Denver. Uh, as far as baseball free picks, I'll tell you, it's a lousy card. I thought about maybe taking the Mets and Mike Pelfrey at home, even though he's been pounded in his first two starts, but he's always pitched well at home at City Field, and the Mets have always dominated the Rockies at home as well uh, in the series, but, you know, it's the Mets. It's Mike Pelfrey. I'd rather lay the 12 and a half with the Denver Nuggets. Good luck, everybody, and I'll catch you again on Tuesday.